Okay, so in this video, I'm going to have a look at constructing a line segment of length through three units. So I've drawn a, a line here, a line segment here, and I'm going to say that this is one unit, one unit in length here. So what I'm going to do first is uh, take my compass, put it at B, and I'm going to draw a circle from A. So I'm going to put my pencil out here at A. So I'm just going to draw a circle around here. Okay, there's one circle, and then I'm going to just flip the compass around and do the same thing from A. So I'm going to put my compass at A, pencil at B, and I'm going to do the same thing again. Just draw another circle here. And that's it. Okay, so the next thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to mark these two points of intersections of the two circles. So this point here, let's just call it uh, C, and let's call this one down here D. I'm going to connect these two up. Let's C to D. And that line segment there, CD, is actually root 3, square root of 3 units in length. If this is 1 unit, this will be the square root of 3 units in length. So um, let me just show you why that's the case. I'm just going to mark this point here, um, A, B, C, D, but let's call it E. And let's prove that or show why that is, why C, D is the square root of three units in length. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to construct a right angle triangle here. I'm just going to connect up A to C so that I'll have I'm going to use this right angle triangle here. So let's connect up A to C. If A to B here was one unit, then A to E here would be half a unit, half a unit in length. You can see from A to C here is going to be one unit in length because it's a radius. because A to B was one unit. So if we just come around here, we can see that A to C is also going to be one unit because it's the radius of this circle here. So I'm going to use this triangle here. This is a right angle triangle. And I'm just going to use that triangle there to show why DC or CD is a length of square root three units. So let's um, do Pythagoras' theorem on this particular triangle here. So we can see that AE squared so um, AE squared plus CE squared is going to be AC squared. Now AE is half a unit, so that's going to be half squared. Um, CE we don't know, so we're just going to write that down again, CE squared. AC is one unit, so that's going to be one squared. Okay, so we have a half squared here, so that's going to be a quarter. Here we've got CE squared, and one squared is just one. That'll give us here um, CE squared is equal to one minus a quarter, which is three quarters. So bring the quarter, subtract a quarter from both sides. And that'll give us finally here that CE, the length CE, is just going to be the square root of three quarters, square root both sides. So that will give us the distance from C to E as the square root of 3 over 2. Square root of 3, square root of 4, so we get square root of 3 over 2. So we now have this distance here. So that distance there is the square root of 3 over 2 units. Now, what we want to do is find the distance from C to D, which is just going to be double that. So, in other words, the distance from C to D is going to be twice square root 3 over 2. So that will just give us, that's 2 over 1 if you like, so that will, 2 will divide into 2 and we're just left with the square root of 3 units. So the distance from C to D, the distance from C to D here is the square root of 3 units long, providing that the distance from A to B is 1 unit long. And that's it, that's it for uh, this particular construction.